something that they're not to fool other people into believing that they are deceitful. Deceitful. Revelation chapter 2, verse 2. He began to church for, for those who found those that claim to be apostles but are not and has found them words. Same word. Matthew chapter 7 and verse 21 through 23, Jesus said, Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom of heaven. Right. But he that doeth the will of my Father, he said, Many will come to me in that day and say, and say Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? That means there's going to be some preachers that's going to go to hell. Right. Hey, there's going to be some preachers that are going to die and go to hell. Right. Have we not prophesied in thy name? Have we not done many wonderful? Have we not cast out? In thy name. Have you not done many wonderful works in thy name? Hey! Not everyone! And he said, I'll say unto them, depart from me, you workers of iniquity. I never knew you. Yes, not right. I used to know you, and you messed up, and you lost your salvation. There ain't a verse in that Bible. You can't find it in the Bible. You can't even find it in the concordance. There ain't no such a verse in the Bible that says, anybody that gets saved goes to hell. There's a group of ten virgins that represent the church at the second coming of Christ. Five of them were wise and five were foolish. Here's the deal. All ten of them were waiting on the bridegroom. All ten of them were wearing the wedding garments. All ten of them were virgins. All ten of them had oil in their lamps. But only the five wives had oil in their vessels. Hallelujah. Oh, I'm glad I ain't just got a little oil in the lamp. I'm glad I got some oil in my vessel. I can feel it sloshing around in there every now and then. Somebody say amen. If I was to get Alzheimer's and forget who I was, I don't think I could ever forget who he is. Because it ain't a head thing. It's a hard thing. <laughs> Five of them went to heaven. Five of them went to hell. Luke yeah. chapter 18, verses 9 through 13. Two men went into the church house. By the way, it's because you go into the church house don't make you a Christian. Amen. Right? Yeah. You walk into a barn, but that don't make you a Shetland pony, honey. Amen. <laughs> Two men went into the church house. One of them was a Pharisee. He memorized the first five books of the Bible. He too was a tither. He was a, he was a giver. He was a performer of the law. If you were to try to compare him to the law to him, you wouldn't find anything wrong with him. And he stood up and said, Lord, I sure am glad to be here tonight. Well, I'm just glad to be here. I think you're very fortunate to have me in the church house. I tithe and I give and I'm, I'm one of the most prominent members of the church. I'm glad I ain't my folks like this right here. And he pulled it over to an old boy on the floor who was a publican. And a publican is a thief. He's worse than a thief. He was a Jew. That took money from the Jews and gave it to the Romans. And he kept back more than he was supposed to and paid in his own pocket. He stole from his own people. He was the scum of the earth. He was the worst of the worst. And he went to church. He crawled around on the bottom on the floor of that church and smote himself on the breast. He wouldn't even look up into heaven and say, God, be merciful unto me, a sinner. Yeah. And one man went out of that building knowing for sure he was going to heaven. He was on his way to hell. And the other man went out of that building knowing for sure he was going to hell. He went to hell. Yeah. 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 That's good, son. Yeah. yeah. You know who these liars are? These liars are these people that masquerade as Christians. They walk like a Christian. They talk like a Christian. They act like a Christian. They come to church like Christians. They pay tithes like Christians. They say prayers like Christians. They read the Bible like Christians. They do all the Christian things. The Christian people should do all the good things, the good things. And I'm going to tell you something on the inside of them. They ain't a bit of God. They ain't got no relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. There's something missing. There's something missing down inside. And they know about it. But see, they started out back there on the back pew. They started out back there just saying, I, I really ought to go. I know how to go. I just don't want to go down there in front of all their people. And when they got down to the list was over with, they got to the conclusion of the matter and decided that they was going to trick everybody. Mm -hmm. Then the 
believing they got saved. Mm-hmm. I'll tell you this story, and I'm done. 